I don't know if we can write this, but that Q one to two plus H one is equal to H two plus the work from one to two. And maybe we can stretch that out a little bit. Okay. So that's the basic first law for steady state, steady flow process. Now we're ignoring any changes in kinetic and potential energy. So I haven't shown those. But for an adiabatic process, there's no heat transfer. So this first term is zero. So if I know the enthalpies, then I can find the work that's done. And I guess probably I'll show this with an S to indicate that the state 2 is actually the isentropic state. And maybe we put a little dash in between those. There we go. Okay, and we can show this is 2S, sure. All right, so far so good. We need to find the H's. So I need H1 and I need H2. So how am I going to find those? Well, I can go back to my uh, function list and I need to know H. I need to know two properties to define H. So what do I know for about state one? I know pressure and temperature. So H is a function of P and T. And I can put in there my P1 and my T1 and he says the enthalpy is 3422 kilojoules per kilogram now what about H2 well what properties do I know about state 2 well I know the pressure and I know the entropy so I'll be calling on function H, P, and S. There it is. And so P is P2 and S is S2. So far, so good. Okay, and finally, or quickly, we can calculate the work done from 1 to 2. Uh, I will need some names to call these values and so I will create some names and so pretty quickly I can find out that W, the work done from 1 to 2 yeah I said I was going to call it S didn't I And I probably want to just doctor this up, call that 2S. There we go. Okay, um, great. Now, the second question said to find the state. Find the state. So, what do I need to determine about state 2S? I want to know if it's superheated or in the two phase region. So what do I need to compare it to? I need to find out if the entropy at the exit or I could look at the enthalpy since I've now looked up that value but I need to look at either one of those and look at the corresponding saturation properties at the exit pressure. And so if I look at a, a TS diagram uh, I don't know if I can draw on this. Hopefully I can. Let's see. Yeah, if I just consider TS diagram and I consider some reference uh, pressure or temperature across here, uh, I just need to look at that value of SG and find out if the value is greater than that, then it's in the superheated region. If it's less than that, it's in the two-phase region. So. 
Um, let's do that. Let's find out what SG at uh, 10 kPa is. Well, how are we going to find out? Well, we've got some functions. Uh, these have a little bit different names. Maybe we can find them here. Yeah, well, hmm, this is going to get screwed up a little bit, but we'll figure it out. S uh, as a function, what I want to know is hmm, I want to know S V. That's what we call the saturated vapor. Uh, the entropy of the saturated vapor we call S V instead of S G in this uh, function library. And similarly, the entropy of the saturated liquid is SL and not SF. So, but what I want to know is what's the value of SG at a given pressure? So that's the function that I need right there. So as I said, this is a little bit screwed up because I typed in something I didn't need there, but there you go. So the value of SG at 10 kPa is 8.14, but the value we have is 6.88. So what does that mean in regard to our TS diagram? Yes, well, some of you have figured this out. That if SG is this value, uh, about eight point something. Gosh, where is it? I guess it's like eh, maybe we're down in this part of the chart because the value of SG is is greater than eight. It's eight point something, and the value that we have for S is six point eight. So it's it's it over here. So obviously six point eight is less than eight point one four, and so we're in the two phase region. Sure. So, okay. So, since that's what I just said. So, how do we find? This final quality. Well, uh, you probably remember that you can calculate the quality from the saturation property. Let's try the area of a circle again. Yeah, we don't need the area of a circle. But what we want to know is um, x is equal to uh, ratio, uh, let's say S minus SF divided by SFG, right? So we can calculate it from, from these uh, values, and we can do that. But of course, uh, we've rounded the corner significantly here. We've got some Excel functions that will calculate the quality for us based on two properties. So if I give it the, what two properties do I know readily? I know the pressure and I know the entropy. So I can calculate um, this from P2 and the entropy S2. And he comes back and says the quality is about 83%. So there you have it. That's probably a pretty good run. Um, 15 minutes or so the review of how to find uh, analyze flow through a turbine for isentropic conditions.